It's been more than 24 hours now since Hurricane Milton made landfall in Florida, and so far the storm is being blamed for at least 16 deaths. More than 2 million people remain without power this morning. Ivan Rodriguez is in Fort Pierce, Florida this morning, one of the areas heavily impacted by Milton and the tornadoes. Ivan, good morning. I want to start by asking you, what are some of the major challenges right now for residents? Uh, what are they facing as far as assessing the damage and getting some help? Uh, Annie, good morning. For one, uh, we know based on what the sheriff here has said in St. Lucie County that search and rescue crews are still actively uh, looking for people, specifically in these areas that were so hard hit by the tornadoes. But the other part of this that's challenging for a lot of residents in this area is all the debris. Uh, that's been left behind here to my left is just one uh, example of what we're seeing. It's a semi that's been toppled over on its side on top of a tree across the road uh, where we're standing. Another semi is also on its side there as well. We drove for miles around this neighborhood here in Fort Pierce, Annie, and we've seen uh, several homes severely damaged. The sheriff's office actually saying more than 100 homes have damage uh, here where we are in this area uh, and a lot of homes losing roofs, fencing has been uh, torn apart, metal just completely uh, squished, uh, and it's taking some time. A lot of a lot of neighbors, uh, residents in this area were quick to try and clean up some of that uh, mess, at least try and clear those roads, but there's so much work uh, still to be done in what's going to be a very long recovery process. We're talking years, and uh, real quickly, I want to ask you, the local government there, how are they helping residents as far as communicating really important safety information or resources to those without power and internet service? I mean, right now, what, what's crucial is all, I mean, the, the fact that we're still not having power in this area is making even more challenging for officials uh, to get the word out. We do know, uh, based on where we are, there's a lot of uh, local law enforcement in this area. There's been a lot of commissioners, elected officials coming in to this heavily hit, devastated uh, part of town. So the communication has, has been almost even more word of mouth because even just signal has been so difficult for us uh, to even be able to get out and communicate uh, from here. Uh, so it's gonna be a continued challenge, but uh, we've seen a lot of crews work working constantly around the clock to try and restore power here. Uh, Annie, in St. Lucie County, it's only 13% uh, of people that are without power, but this has to be the majority of people here, that 13% that are experiencing that. Ivan Rodriguez giving us just a, a glimmer, a, a glimpse of the reality that so many are facing down there. Uh, Ivan, thank you so much for joining us over this past week. Stay safe.